Chloe's from the Black Country guys. We are off on an adventure today. We're going to the Black Country Museum because we're looking at two very special coins. Today we're looking at the Suffragette coin which has a mintage figure of 3 million 1024 and 30 and also the representation of the people act which has a mintage figure of over 9 million. So in true British fashion it is raining in a week where we've had absolutely glorious sunshine but we have made it to the black country museum we're going to go and sort our tickets out and then show you around so we're now in the museum and one of the main attractions as you come down is behind us and it is one of the oldest black country mines which you can go down you can't film in there but you can go down so we'll be doing that there is a bit of a museum around there as well so we'll show you that but we're going to head down to the victorian schoolhouse where i got told off last time for drawing on myself made a little friend <laughs> bonjour les chefs so this is pocket fashion I've already found some coins some more coin knowledge here so here in St James's school it would have been two whole pence for the entire week so, I was talking to the man in the garage about the coins and he was showing me obviously the old pennies and stuff and he was saying, quizzing me about the war and stuff and things. Um, the First World War, although on the cenotaphs it does say 1918 that the war ended for Armistice Day, it wasn't until 1919 that when the... Um, peace treaty was signed that is when the war officially ended so the main war arboretum in Litchfield will say 1919 but all of the others will still say 1918 look at that time this takes me back my man had this exact set vice green so here in the Black Country Museum, they have recreated original streets from the early 1900s, 1800 Victorian period, right up until, I think it's currently the 1960s that they've got here. They've got a lot of streets from the World War, just before war. And let me turn the this camera. This pub was originally in Wolverhampton. And when I went to Leon earlier on in the year, they have a replica of this pub which I think is absolutely insane. But we are gonna go into here now, obviously. The women's... So we're outside the Workers' Institute here, and obviously in 1914, when World War I broke out after the war, the representation of the People Act gave the votes to women over 30 who met certain requirements. But in 1928, the act was revised and women over 21 had the right to vote in 1928. So let's go and have a look at it. There's an ice cream man there, I can get an ice cream. Man. So we're here in the Workers' Institute, I have a little exhibition. Exposition? Exhibition for
So there was nationwide bombings and arson campaigns and they faced anger and ridicule from the media. When they, they were imprisoned, they went on hunger strikes and the government thought the best way forward from this was to try and force feed them. The death of Emily Davison in 1913, when she ran in front of the King's carriage, made headlines around the world. So this is Mary MacArthur's office. So this here is Mary MacArthur addressing the crowds during the chain making strike in Crowd Heath in 1910. True woman pioneer. And here we have Mary MacArthur taking tea with the founder of the Labour Party, Keir Hardy. We've always been strong-minded and strong-willed here in the Black Country. Here we have Ruth Tomans, chain maker and trustee of the Workers' Institute. Gertrude Tuckwell, trustee of the Workers' Institute. The royal family here. So all these shops down here, you can actually go in. So we have a radio store where you get all your old fashioned radios. Predis which is an old tobacco store. All your old pipes, tins. So you come down from the section there, over the bridge you have one of the best sweet shops ever. You come down here to Obviously, a very famous book because this part of the Black Country Museum is where some of Peaky Blinders was found.
I got it in! I got it in! Yeah. <laughs> yes! I need to start down the steps. My little valley in the Houses were really, really small back then. Sadly, all the cake's gone. So, we're getting a new addition to the Black Country Museum, which will be Woodside Library. And this is why I love this place, it's always adapting. <laughs> Preserving history of the Black Country. We have the local colour. Camp Coffee, Cap. Do you remember Camp Coffee? Camp Coffee. You can still get it for the Bourneville hot chocolate. Ooh. Turkish delight, old Cadbury's. We've got Bourneville. Bourneville is one of the best chocolates you've ever had. Diabetic chocolate. Fruit and nut. I wonder if they sell old Jamaican. Granddad's, granddad used to love old Jamaica. Russian soap powders. I mean, the tills have come a little bit wound on right now, all the electronic tills that we have that work now. Yeah. So, this is the first time I've ever been into these sections. The new section has been built. So, this is the Lee Infant Welfare Centre. We're down into the mines, but we can't film in the mines, but there is a little bit of a museum. But we have our representation of the people out here and the people we're representing today as a hard working miners of the Black Country. Just come out the mines. I hit my head. <laughs> There's such a small pocket. The roof went really low. Going, Doof. But I blame this young gentleman here. He was holding the torch for me and was shining it in the wrong place. <laughs> but we had a um, good time. We're going to go and head some food now. There's a couple more press pennies I'm going to get. But I hope you enjoyed coming around the Black Country with me. And I hope you enjoyed looking at the suffragette and the representation of the people act. So, see you soon guys.